Well, metal surfaces are ultra thin uh, engineered surfaces for the control of the phase, the amplitude, and the polarization of light. As in this example from this publication from the literature, only a few nanometers thick germanium layer on top of a metallic film uh, produces different optical uh, resonances. Or you can have more complex structures and uh, negative uh, refraction of light can be achieved by, by only one monolayer of optical resonators. Uh, Professor Salai, in the beginning, uh, explained uh, a lot about uh, these structures and their applications in flat optics. A particular design uh, that we will discuss uh, is, as, as an example from this review paper, uh, to have metallic nanoparticles on top of metallic films separated by dielectric spacer. And these structures uh, have the ability to strongly absorb light and can be used in energy harvesting or sensors or other applications. But recently, uh, great interest in, uh, many researchers are interested in all dielectric metasurfaces. You can see here some examples of silicon metasurfaces, silicon patterned surfaces or more complex structures. Uh, and they can be used as photovoltaics or polarizers. And the, the main advantage is that we avoid the problem of down heating losses in metals. Uh, one of our uh, computational uh, designs is uh, here uh, with these geometrical parameters. Um, under normal incidence of light, you see here in the absorbance spectrum, two uh, main absorbing resonances. With these field profiles, this one mainly localizes the field in the region between the silicon sphere and the metallic uh, film. And this one mainly localizes the field in the region between the particles, between the silicon particles. Uh, how we can design total absorbing resonances. Suppose that here that we have an absorbing resonance, this is the total, uh, the total decay rate, which is the sum of the radiative decay rate and the non-radiative decay rate, which is associated with the losses. And uh, if the non-radiative decay rate is equal with the radiative decay rate, then the critical coupling condition is fulfilled and we obtain total absorption. Keep in mind that uh, even though we use a silver film, uh, no plasmons are involved in this process because the film only plays the role of a reflector. The same is valid if we use a dielectric reflector, a Bragg uh, multi-layer or a Bragg mirror. For these parameters here, under uh, normal incidence of light again, this is the absorbance spectrum, it's in scale units, you see several uh, absorbing resonances. The point here is that by changing the imaginary part of the, of, the, of, the, of the permittivity of the spheres, which is, associated, which is connected with losses, we tune the non-radiative decay rate. So for uh, a different value of uh, this imaginary part, its resonance can be optimized. What else? we can do with such structures. Uh, in um, uh, a structure like this here, with smaller silicon spheres from, from the, uh, with the experimental 
values of silicon and the larger distance between the spheres, this is the A, the lattice constant, uh, on top of a Bragg mirror, indeed we see here in the reflectance spectrum with gray line, uh, it is uh, only the Bragg multilayer uh, and it operates as a mirror in this frequency region. But when we introduce uh, the, particle, the silicon particle array on top, several uh, resonances appear. We will only discuss these two dominant ones, uh, pointed out with arrows, while the other sharper uh, phanotype uh, resonances are waveguide modes of the slab, of the slabs, of the Bragg multilayer. So, if we look at the field profiles in this broad resonance here, which is this one, uh, what we see is that the field is, lo is localized mainly inside the silicon particle, and it is a typical uh, mid-type resonance. On the other hand, this resonance uh, localizes the field in the region outside of the silicon particle, which is a typical uh, field profile uh, for uh, metallic nanoparticles. And um, if you look at the field strength, uh, it, has all, it has half of the field strength uh, compared to a silver nanosphere with the same dimensions. So what we obtain is to have plasmon-like uh, field enhancement and field profiles. And uh, this idea can be used in applications such in this one, in, a, in sensor uh, applications. Again, we have a similar structure. We have substituted the Bragg reflector with a silver reflector to avoid the phanotype resonances of the slab. Uh, and uh, the whole structure is inside water. We see here the two resonances that we discussed before. And what we see is that uh, for this resonance, pointed out with arrow, with this field profile, the field is mainly localized inside water. So a slight change in the refractive index of water, like in this solution here, uh, causes the resonance to shift. The other one, which localizes the field inside the particle is not affected as expected. And we obtain a very good sensitivity. And because the full width at half maximum uh, in this resonance is uh, relatively small, we obtain a very competitive figure of merit. In the last slide, I will show you some uh, results uh, for uh, the magneto-optic interaction in the Faraday configuration. Suppose here that we have a bismuth substituted I uh, yttrium iron garnet field. In the presence of an external static magnetic field, the permittivity of the field becomes anisotropic. This means that for an incident polarized plane wave, uh, the, um, polari the polarization rotates under a Faraday rotation angle phi. Uh, typically, this effect is small, and we need very thick films, a, a few millimeters thick uh, films, to obtain a significant uh, rotation. So we are trying to enhance uh, the Faraday rotation angle by introducing a periodic monolayer of silver uh, nanoparticles. And the concept is that by enhancing, by increasing the field inside the BYIG field, then the Faraday rotation will increase. 
for these uh, parameters for, from experimental values, computations from experimental values of uh, silver and BYIG. Uh, as we can see here in the transmittance spectrum, a resonance appear and uh, the Faraday rotation of the structure is uh, increased almost 20 times compared with the rotation of the bare field without the particles. Of course, the problem here, as we discussed uh, in the previous slides, is that transmittance is very low because plasmons strongly uh, absorb light. So uh, these are preliminary results and we are trying to find ways to increase uh, the transmittance. To conclude, we have designed perfect absorbing surfaces. Uh, strong concentration of the field uh, can be obtained around dielectric nanoparticles for uh, sensor applications and uh, some results for magneto-optic surfaces that enhance the Faraday rotation. Thank you for your attention. between the mirror okay. and the array. The other uh, ones uh, localize the field mainly inside the high index uh, um, uh, slabs. So I don't, uh, I'm not sure if they can play a, a role. Uh, the role is played in this region mainly. Um, and, and this is a, a slab type. Uh, resonance. But you could change the period, right? Yeah. Yes, of course. Uh, if we change the period, these resonances disappear or uh, are enhanced. 